In recent decades, China has experienced an infrastructure revolution that is completely transforming what we believe possible in engineering. We're looking at projects that defy the laws of physics, that literally move mountains and entire rivers, and that incorporate solutions so bold they seem pulled straight from the future. But what makes these mega projects so extraordinary? In this video, I'll show you the eight most impactful infrastructure projects that China has built. Work so ambitious they've left the entire world speechless. From trains that levitate at airplane speeds to bridges that disappear beneath the ocean. Get ready, because what you're about to see will completely change your perspective on the limits of human construction. Number 8. Underground Cities and Megatunnel Network Beijing has a secret beneath its feet. And no, we're not talking about ordinary subways. Imagine a network of tunnels so extensive it could house entire cities. For decades, China has been excavating underground labyrinths that function as shelters, transportation hubs, and even complete shopping districts. In Beijing, there exists an underground city capable of housing millions of people, originally built during the Cold War but now repurposed and expanded. But here's what's truly striking. Cities like Chongqing have taken this to the extreme, with metro stations that look like futuristic cathedrals and shopping centers 30 meters underground. The reason? Lack of surface space and preparation for any eventuality. Some tunnels run so deep they descend more than 60 meters, cutting through rocky mountains like butter. What's unsettling is that nobody knows exactly how many kilometers of tunnels actually exist. The government keeps the figures classified. What we do know is that this underground network continues expanding every year, turning the Chinese subsoil into a parallel world of which we barely know the surface. Number 7. The Three Gorges Dam This concrete monster literally changed Earth's rotation. Yes, that's not a joke. The Three Gorges Dam, with its 2.3 kilometers width and 185 meters height, is the largest hydroelectric plant on the planet. It holds so much water that scientists calculated it microscopically slowed Earth's rotation by redistributing water masses. We're talking about an artificial lake 600 kilometers long that displaced more than 1.3 million people. Its construction lasted 17 years and cost more than $30 billion, but it generates enough electricity to supply entire countries. To give you an idea, its turbines produce more than 100 terawatt-hours annually, equivalent to the entire electrical consumption of Argentina. But it's not all celebration. The dam has been the center of controversies due to its environmental impact, extinct species, landslides, and changes in the Yangtze River ecosystems. Chinese engineers argue that the energy benefit outweighs the costs. Either way, this structure permanently changed China's geography and proved that humanity can live literally move oceans of water if it sets its mind to it. Number 6. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge 55 kilometers over and under the sea. This bridge tunnel isn't just the world's longest sea crossing. It's an engineering masterpiece that seems pulled from a science fiction movie. It connects three key cities crossing the Pearl River Delta. But here's the trick. Since air and sea traffic couldn't be interrupted, engineers decided that 6.7 kilometers of the bridge would disappear underwater. Yes, the bridge literally submerges into an underwater tunnel built with prefabricated segments 180 meters long each, deposited with millimetric precision on the seabed. Construction took nine years and required 400,000 tons of steel, enough to build 60 Eiffel Towers. It can withstand magnitude 8 earthquakes, category 16 typhoons, and direct impact from 300,000 ton vessels. The result? A journey that previously took three hours now completes in 20 minutes. But what's most impressive is that the entire system functions like a living organism. Sensors monitor every centimeter, detecting material fatigue before it becomes a problem. China didn't build a bridge. It built the future of maritime transportation. Number 5. South-North Water Transfer Project China decided to solve its water crisis by moving entire rivers from south to north. And when we say moving rivers, we're talking literally about diverting thousands of billions of cubic meters of water through 3,000 kilometers of canals, aqueducts, and tunnels. It's the most ambitious water transfer project in human history, with a cost exceeding $80 billion. The problem was simple, but devastating. Northern China, where nearly half the population lives, only has 20% of the country's water resources. Beijing and other megacities faced a terminal crisis. The Chinese solution was pharaonic. 
create three giant roots, east, central, and west, that transport water from the humid south to the thirsty north. The eastern route includes tunnels that pass under the Yellow River. Yes, a river flowing beneath another river. The scale is hard to comprehend. The central route alone can transfer 13 billion cubic meters annually, enough to fill 5,200 Olympic pools every day. Critics point out the ecological impact and displaced communities. But China argues it was this, or water collapse. One thing is certain. Never in history has the water cycle been manipulated on this scale. Number 4. Guizhou, the Kingdom of Bridges Guizhou isn't just a province, it's where gravity seems optional. This mountainous region in southwestern China literally houses hundreds of superlative bridges, including the world's tallest. We're talking about structures suspended more than 500 meters high, the equivalent of a 150-story building. To put it in perspective, the Duge Bridge rises 565 meters above the Beipan River. Standing on it is like being at the top of a skyscraper without walls. But Guizhou doesn't have one or two bridges like this. It has dozens. 80% of the world's highest bridges are in China, and most are in this province. Why? Because Guizhou is a labyrinth of mountains and gorges where building conventional roads was impossible. The solution was bold. If you can't go around the mountains, fly over them. Some of these bridges were built by launching cables from one mountain to another using rockets. The process is surreal. Rockets firing guidelines over chasms, followed by tons of steel cables tensioned across the void. Guizhou transformed its hostile geography into a tourist advantage. Now they sell extreme bridge tourism tours. Only in China would they turn survival engineering into a tourist attraction. Number 3. Sichuan-Tibet Railway This train goes to places where trains technically shouldn't exist. The Sichuan-Tibet Railway will be the most extreme railway line ever built, crossing the Himalayas at heights exceeding 4,400 meters above sea level. To understand the madness, most commercial airplanes fly at 10,000 meters. This train will run at almost half that altitude, where the air has 40% less oxygen. The challenges are absurd. The route crosses 14 active geological faults, constant avalanche zones, and permafrost that melts and freezes. Engineers are excavating the world's longest tunnel in a seismic zone, 22 kilometers through mountains that literally move. Temperatures vary from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius depending on the season. The cars will need pressurization like airplanes so passengers can breathe. But China doesn't stop. The reason is strategic. Connecting Tibet with the rest of the country in hours instead of days, consolidating control over a historically isolated region. When completed in 2030, it will be possible to travel from Chengdu to Lhasa in 13 hours, a journey that today takes 48 hours by road. They're literally building a train on the roof of the world. Number 2. Beijing Daxing International Airport Imagine building the world's largest airport in less than five years. That's what China did with Daxing. Inaugurated in 2019, this futuristic colossus has a starfish-shaped terminal designed by Zaha Hadid that looks pulled from 2050. It's no exaggeration. The main terminal has 700,000 square meters, the equivalent of 98 soccer fields under one roof. But the size is just the beginning. Daxing is designed to process 100 million passengers annually, more than Germany's population. Its radial design means no passenger walks more than 600 meters from check-in to any boarding gate. To compare, in traditional airports, you can end up walking kilometers. Construction employed 40,000 workers simultaneously in 24-7 shifts. The roof is an engineering masterpiece. 8,000 skylights provide natural light, reducing energy consumption by 20%. The airport has its own express train system that takes you to central Beijing in 20 minutes. What's most impressive is that they completed this colossal project on schedule without sacrificing quality. Daxing isn't just an airport, it's a statement. China builds the future while others plan the present. Number 1. Shanghai Maglev Train Welcome to the world's fastest train for commercial passengers. The Shanghai Maglev has no wheels. It has no friction. It literally levitates over the rails using magnetism and reaches 431 km per hour in regular operation with records of 501 km per hour in tests. To put it in perspective, this is faster than most light aircraft during takeoff. 
The 30-kilometer journey from Pudong Airport to downtown Shanghai takes only 7 minutes. The same trip by car can easily take an hour in traffic. But here's the real magic. Magnetic levitation means zero contact with the rails, eliminating mechanical wear and allowing accelerations impossible for conventional trains. Passengers experience acceleration that presses them against their seats while the digital speedometer in the car climbs vertiginously. China inaugurated this system in 2004, decades before other countries even considered the technology commercially viable. Now they're developing the next generation, 700 km per hour maglevs for long routes. The Shanghai maglev isn't just transportation, it's a glimpse into the future where trains are faster than driving and almost as fast as flying. China didn't wait for that future. It built it. We've seen the eight most ambitious and challenging infrastructure projects that China has built. From bridges that disappear under the sea to trains that levitate at impossible speeds, each of these projects represents a giant leap that is redefining our concept of what engineering can achieve. Which of these mega projects has impressed you the most? Leave me your opinion in the comments. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos about China's most surprising projects. See you in the next one.